The Open Episcopal Church is a small church with a big heart. That's what it says on the front page of our website, and we mean it. We're also a church with a mission and a vision. A vision where we're able to lead people everywhere to become fully devoted followers of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, and you can read these words in the Gospel according to St. Mark in chapter 8 and verse 34, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And shortly after his death, resurrection and ascension, we read in the New Testament book of Acts that the first group of early Christians devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching. Everyone was filled with awe, and many wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. Selling their possessions and goods, they gave to anyone as he had need. Every day, they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Our mission is the same as all Christian churches in that we are called to preach the good news of Jesus Christ in all the world. But our vision is also to create a church where everyone is welcome, where everyone is needed, and where everyone is changed. Everyone is welcome in the Open Episcopal Church, but have you ever been somewhere where you're not welcome? It's not a very pleasant experience, is it? Although we are a traditional and orthodox Catholic jurisdiction, taking our apostolic orders from the old Catholic Church of the Netherlands, we are also a liberal church. Liberal in the sense that we never turn anyone away from our altars or our sacraments. In the book of Revelation, we read these words. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him who hears say, Come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come. And whoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. And in the Gospel of St. John, we learn about the woman at the well. She was a Samaritan woman. Jesus was a Jew. And these two tribes did not get on with each other at all. Yet Jesus still accepted her in a liberal and welcoming way. It caused the woman to leave her water jar there at the well, rush back to the town and say to the people there, Come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Like Jesus, the Open Episcopal Church never turns anyone away, ever. It matters not what your sin or what your perceived sin is. Jesus welcomes you, and so do we. And our vision is also to create a church where everyone is needed. In the first letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to that early church in Corinth, he says these words. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but the same God works all of them in all men. He then writes, the eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you, and the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. The Open Episcopal Church is small, and we desperately need workers. There is work for everyone to do, regardless of whether you are young or perhaps not so young, able or not so able. We need you as lay ministers, as prayer warriors, as evangelists, preachers, teachers, deacons, priests and bishops to help us. 
to help us to reach everyone everywhere. The hours are long. The pay is non-existent. The labourers are few. But the rewards are eternal. Our vision is a world where everyone is changed. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, Scripture assures us. And we are told in the Old Testament book of Samuel that the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you in power and you will be changed into a different person. All around us we see decadence and decay. All around us we see women, men and children in poverty and distress. All around us we see a world where love and peace are so badly needed. All around us we see a world desperately in need of Christ. Come and join us. Join one of our congregations if there is one near to you. If there is not a congregation near to you, join us anyway and start one. Apply for ordination if you would like to. We'll be more than happy to discuss your vocation with you and then help you to train for a long and fruitful ministry with us. Join us in one of our online communities or in a myriad of other ways limited only by imagination. Make contact with us now, for Christ's sake. Together, we will create a church that will be unstoppable in its mission and in its vision.